is too short. It's called antiglossia. It's too short. And the common term is you say the person is tongue tied. And they can't move their tongue what? Up and up? And if you say now, the, 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 where is your tongue? The. It has to go what? Up behind your teeth? And they, the, the. They, they, they can't, they can't, the. They have trouble getting it up. They also have trouble swallowing. Okay? And the part that has to be cut. So, what the heck? I like to teach you pathology. Let's do the, the tongue itself, okay? You have two sets of major muscles in your tongue. Actually, they call them extrinsic, intrinsic, you know, yeah, just watch. One set moves the tongue up and down, one moves it one side, the other side. And the whole purpose of moving your tongue up and down, side to side, is when you eat food, we're, you're gonna mix it with mucus, you know, with saliva, and you have to f put the food into a semi-ball, and then what? The tongue, like a catapult, throws it back. You know, that's, that's the only voluntary part of swallowing when you decide your tongue is going back. You don't see it because your mouth is closed, okay? So, um, some people have a third muscle. I don't have it. I mean, in yesterday's class, Everybody had it except me and one other student. Everyone else was able, I can't show it to you, was able to curl their tongue. Can you curl your tongue? You can't. She doesn't. You can't. You can't. You can't curl your 